All right, I just got more information on this uh, full scimitar prop that I want to build. And uh, I'll share a link below. It had mostly to do with its um, variable pitch, natural variable pitch at high RPM. And I didn't really know what to do with the desired pitch that I, ha I wanted um, versus how much it flexes. And I got that, the answers, and uh, you add about a quarter, 25% uh, more pitch to the outer portion of it. Now, if anybody's wanting to build their own prop and you're measuring the pitch on an existing prop, I started measuring this and I noticed that this here area of the prop averaged about what my stated prop pitch is, which is, can you see it? 20, 60 by 26? There it is, yeah. Anyway, uh, this here is about 26 average. Out here it's about 28 and right here it's about 25. But it really shortens up. It, by the time you get here, it's about 20 inches of pitch. And here it's about 18 inches of pitch, 20 inches of pitch. Here it's about 18 inches of pitch. And I was wondering why the difference, because being a screw, the pitch should remain the same uh, relative to its diameter. So the reason for that is after I started studying, found the correct information is that all of your efficiency or all of your thrust comes from the outer 10% of the prop. The rest of this prop, it's more about the strength because there's a tremendous amount of torque, torsional, torsional and uh, um, uh, centrifugal force pulling out on this prop. It's actually quite amazing how much there is. Uh, so that's the reason that your prop is not equal pitch all the way across. This is the part that matters most. Now, whenever, uh, first of all, um, you gotta know that your pieces of wood have to be glued up the opposite direction. This here is the cord of the prop. And, uh, and you have to glue the strips the opposite direction you normally would and shape them. And I've got a form, there you can see the form in the background there, one part side of it, they're laying together. And uh, you have to actually press these. And it's too much pressure to do it all at once. You probably get five or six in your first pressing, and then maybe another three or four. And after that, I was going down to two, and then finally just one at a time. And then adding in foam on the top of the press because the uh, shape, uh, the, the radius is, this here one will grow smaller, and this one here will grow bigger as you're stacking this all up. Anyways, now, so this outer 10% of this will be shaped about 25%. So the, uh, the angle right here measured on this part of the prop is 8.8 .8 degrees for this diameter, at this diameter, to give it, uh, well, that out at 60 inches, that would be uh, 28, a pitch of 28.8. .8. And then it drops down to 25.7 in here. And that there's probably about nine, nine degrees. But I'll add, 25% of the pitch. So for 28 pitch at 58 inches, um, I will add seven inches of pitch, making it 35 inches of pitch. And at 35 inches of pitch at 58 inches, the angle on the back side of the prop is going to be 10.8 degrees. So I'll just make sure that this here average on the outer 10% is 10.8 degrees. 
and then I'll probably uh, shorten that up uh, the pitch up a little bit in here because I you need lots of strength in this area here. <laughs> 